Now, keeping an eye on Earth, the new Greenpeace report finds recycling rates are declining as production of recyclable products increase. Yeah, and that study found only about 5% of plastic waste from U.S. households was recycled last year. CBS 4's Elise Preston digs deeper into its findings. Households across the country haul plastic recycling to the curb every week, but a new Greenpeace report finds it's really a dead-end street. According to the report, U.S. households generated about 51 million tons of plastic waste last year. Just 2.4 million tons were recycled. That's only about 5%. Plastics are just really difficult to recycle, and that's why these numbers are so low. The difficulties range from basic economics to contamination. The plastics industry is advocating chemical recycling to reuse material. We bring in used plastic, we heat it up, we vaporize it, and we have a phase change separation from all the fillers and dyes and inks that are in that plastic. Greenpeace argues the technology is unproven and it doesn't solve the whole issue. By focusing on chemical recycling, we're, we're ignoring the rest of um, the problems that plastics create. One way for consumers to be involved in a solution is to stop buying single-use plastic and use refillable containers instead. Sounds good. Rachel Garcia owns Dry Goods Refillery in Montclair, New Jersey a plastic-free grocery store where customers bring their own reusable containers. The idea of bringing your own container isn't something new and novel. I want it to feel like in five years, this is so normal that it's like your coffee shop or like your pizzeria, that there can be one in every town. More stores like this one have popped up in recent years, but the practice is far from common. Greenpeace says it's up to consumers and legislation to ultimately turn the tide on plastic. Elise Preston, CBS News, Montclair, New Jersey. And it's very important to recycle. Of course. We try, we try.